I am completely playing the game as it should be played with no secret death chambers for the people that rejected me from the chess club. Hello everyone, a while back one of you viewers suggested that I read reviews of the Sims games, and I do listen to requests. Sometimes it just takes a really long time to get to it, but let's go do it now. I have two children in my basement, and that number is growing rapidly. Pro tip, if you drown the maid in the pool, you don't have to pay her. It took me about three sim days to kill a nanny because she was so pro at swimming. Sim became a mass murderer by trapping people in one by one areas and watching them starve. After the 10th death, the game told me it was a life sim, not a death sim. 1 out of 10, I can't even murder people in peace anymore. Finally got a girlfriend after spamming flirt. Wish that worked in real life. I get to trap people in a house and force them to kiss each other. 10 out of 10. Mating your sim with your crush's sim to see what your children would look like simulator. Whether you use it as a post-breakup therapy or to build the wedding of your dreams, or murder your enemies, just have fun. For the record, I have not yet murdered any of my sims and all likeness to anyone alive or deceased is purely a coincidence. That's my story and you can't prove otherwise. In six hours of gameplay, I created my sims. Me, a girlfriend, a daughter, and a goblin man who is destined to hide in the basement and only ever paint things for money. I married the girlfriend. Girlfriend gets set on fire literally every time she cooks. Girlfriend cheated directly in front of my sim. Girlfriend dies in a fire caused by her cooking. The goblin man becomes a master painter, creating steady revenue for the household. He is never allowed to leave the basement. Goblin Man is completely unbothered by the death of my girlfriend because he has never left the basement. My sim immediately asks someone else to move in with her. Steals the entire family wealth, leaving behind all the children with literally nothing. Lock another romantic interest in the bathroom to avoid my new partner seeing her. Goblin Man breaks everything he owns and refuses to fix them, instead opting to cry on repeat. 10 out of 10. More drama than Love Island. Became enemies with my neighbor because of noise and such, and he got so mad after I threw a drink in his face that he suffered from cardiac arrest and died. I gained a positive moodlet from the event. My first thoughts were, I've heard that this is the best expansion pack, but doesn't it only add seasons? Creates new game. Makes a bachelor dressed fabulously in a hot dog suit. Starts in fall. Immediately walks to town festival. Goes into haunted house and becomes a ghost. It's nighttime now, so I slowly walk home. Around 3 a.m., sparkles in the sky greet me. Sim goes out to investigate. Sim then gets abducted. An hour later, the Sim comes back with an abducted moodlet. I then try to wait it out. After it is waited out, he rapidly gains weight over a period of three days with an unexpected weight gain moodlet. On the third day, the Sim has an action where he looks like he is having an aneurysm and diarrhea at the same time. Male hot dog sim gives birth to an alien baby, raises alien baby until it freezes outside during the winter. Sim ironically burns to death during the summer. I take off my headset and walk away from the computer to the window. See flashing lights in the sky and promptly run into the cellar. Turned out to be a helicopter. Warning, the title Seasons is extremely deceiving. As an unemployed student, I have no idea if this is realistic or not, but I get to shove random sims into a jail cell now, or get my male sims pregnant from an alien, so 10 out of 10. I recommend this game pack, especially because of the gothic-themed clothing, cosmetics, and furniture, no. The brand new neighborhood, no. Vampirish perks, no. Non-consensual blood-sucking interaction, yeah. My vampire friend died from hunger and turned to a pile of dust, and my sim with a neat trait swept her off the floor and threw her in the trash, and then cried afterwards. Robber was in house. Went to confront him. Did nothing. Called 911. Police showed up. Had nice chat with the police while the robber stole my stuff! The pancakes made me mad, so my werewolf ate their toilet. I love Realm of Magic! I find it most satisfying to blast neighborhood sims with fireballs when they rudely walk right into the house of the family I'm playing and get on their computer. I mean, I'd probably do that in real life given the same circumstances, so... Incendio! I thought there were fairies! Purchased. Sent my sim out for a jog to complete a goal of getting a skill to level 2. 
He then ran himself out into the frozen lake further than you can actually tell him to go, and then froze to death. The Grim Reaper could not even get out far enough to actually kill him. Requested refund. This is fun because I can make my teenagers anxious, stressed, sleep deprived, and depressed. This DLC just makes your sims dirty and sad from all the laundry they're not doing. Sims won't do their own laundry, you gotta do it manually, and if you forget to clean out the dryer filters, there will be a fire. So basically, if your micromanaging game isn't on point, it makes their lives spiral out of control because of how trashy their surroundings are after about a day. And once they're sad from having dirty laundry everywhere, they can't do dirty laundry because they're too uncomfortable to clean up all the dirty laundry that's making them uncomfortable. I vacuumed up a dust bunny after befriending it. This is the first Sims pack that makes cleaning feel horrible. Got to watch a skeleton in a maid outfit beat up my ghost roommate's ghost ex-girlfriend. I'm not really sure how much I like this on its own, but who doesn't love a butler? I love a butler. You should love a butler. We all should butler. Originally bought this just to have a pastime for a boomer sim. Now they're a heavy metal granny with an attitude. 666 out of 10 for the metal radio station alone. This pack is about as broken as my sim's heart after she couldn't marry her fiancé because they were too busy talking to the best man during their vows. Gets Cat. Buys and places an assortment of beds all over the house. Cat goes in bed. Cat goes out of bed. Cat sleeps on pavement outside of house. 10 out of 10 realism. I created a male witch and worked him from the bottom to the top and became a smillionaire and had nearly every potion and ingredient in my sim's inventory, including a clone drone elixir. I thought that I should save and not exit the game one night before going to bed in real life, and woke up to my sim laughing over a gravestone that oddly had his own name on it. I then checked the scrapbook, memories, etc., and saw that my sim made a clone of himself, got married to the clone, and had sex with himself before proceeding to murder the clone via casting a fire blast spell on him. My sim had the evil trait and had already killed some of his neighbors before under my supervision without my say-so. If you're looking for the most exciting expansion pack that will keep you entertained for days to come, I definitely recommend this one. 10 out of 10 would screw myself again. I accidentally married a 50-year-old man, had twins, then got stuck in the floor for life. What is this game? My sim became a firefighter. First day on the job, there is a fire and he goes to the house that needs help. I leave him for a moment to check on my other sims. When I come back to him, he's standing on the front lawn while the house is still blazing with flames, playing on his smartphone. Best firefighter ever. If you are a party animal and like controlling people, you found your match. I made a hobo, gave him a very small lot in the middle of the city and filled it with dumpsters, benches, etc. I had to get rid of the money I started with for a more authentic homeless feel, so I went to the supermarket and bought 100 fireworks and some fish. I lit the lot on fire with all of the fireworks. Half the city came to my lot to join me in panicking about the fire. Somebody died. Celebrities were there. Tax collectors took my recycling bin. I went to Egypt with the money insurance gave me for burning down the dumpsters and benches. Sold rotten fish to the merchant in order to buy a tent so my guy could finally sleep. 10 out of 10. Went to the future. Found out I could demolish the plot that I started on. Got 200,000 free simoleons. Went back to the present and donated 50,000 simoleons. Became known as the Great Philanthropist. 10 out of 10. Would exploit time travel again. You know that feeling when a robot makes your wife pregnant? Buy this DLC and find out. 2 out of 10. Broke my game. How am I supposed to carry out the love story of Mr. Clean and Hitler now? This game sucks the hours out of your life. You think you've played for a half hour? Joke's on you, you've played for three weeks and all of your friends and family think you're dead. If the taste of warm Dr. Pepper could be made into a game, The Sims 4 would be it. Sulsul, Ralabumbum, Badish. Baudish this game as Ralabumbum to Vredishe. Thank you all for watching, I hope you had fun. I will see you in the next video. It might be... Harry Potter movie reviews part one. So if you're looking forward to that and you're not subscribed, subscribe. I'd love to have you around. I love all of you. Have a great day and I'll see you later.